Okay, so for round one, we want to start off by doing a magic circle. So to do that, you want to take your yarn and your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger and then wrap it back over your finger to create a cross, like so. Then take your crochet hook, go underneath the first loop and then using the cook, pick up the second loop or this bit of yarn here and there we go, there is a magic circle. Okay, so once we have our magic circle like this, we now want to do 12 half double crochets into the magic loop. Okay, so to do a half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the loop, pull up a loop, and now you should have three loops on your hook, and then you yarn over and pull through all three loops. And you need to do 12 of these into your magic circle here. So, go for a second one, yarn over, Go into the loop, pull up a loop, pull through all three loops. Do number three and four. And finally a twelfth half double crochet, like so. And once you've done that, you just check that you have twelve and then you can close up your magic circle. So you do that by taking the straggler end here and pulling it tight, as tight as you can, to make the circle, like so. And then you want to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet that we made, like so. And there we go, there is round one completed. Okay, so to start round two, we want to begin by chaining one. And now we're going to do a routine of doing one half double crochet into one stitch and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. So one half double crochet, two half double crochets, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, all the way around. And by the end of the next round you should have 18 stitches total. Okay, so something that I've also done here is I've set up a stitch marker. So I've just used a random piece of yarn and this is going to show me where each new round will begin and where each round will end. Okay, so into the first stitch here we're going to make one half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the first stitch and work one half double crochet. Into the next stitch I'm going to work two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into the next stitch work one half double crochet and then a second into the same stitch then into the next one just one half double crochet and into the next one two half double crochets one two one two all the way around for this round. So once you have done that, that is round two completed and now we're going to move on to round three and we're not going to finish each round with a slip stitch like you might do on other patterns because this hat has worked as a continual round. For round three you want to do one half double crochet into two stitches and then two half double crochets into the next. So one half double crochet into this stitch, one half double crochet into this stitch but two into this one. One, one, two, one, one, two. So, first thing to do is yarn over, go into your first stitch and do one half double crochet. Go into the next stitch and do another half double crochet. But into the next stitch, work two half double crochets. There's one and then two into the next. And you want to do this all the way around for this round. 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. Okay, so I've just finished with round 3 and round 4 is similar but we're going to be doing one half double crochet into three stitches and then two half double crochets into the next. So one half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochets into the next. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2. So into the next stitch work just one half double crochet into the next one half double crochet and then into the next one half double crochet but then into the next one you want to work two half double crochets like that and again you want to do this 
throughout this entire round. Okay, so I've just completed round four. So now for round five, you want to do one half double crochet into four stitches and then two half double crochets into the next. Half double crochet into one stitch, two stitch, three stitch and four stitches and then two half double crochets into the next. One, 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 two. So, yarn over, go into the next stitch here and work one half double crochet work one half double crochet into the next stitch and a third stitch and then a fourth stitch and then you want to work two half double crochets into the next stitch like so. Okay, so I just completed round five and I'm ready to move on to round six so now for rounds six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 you are going to work, want to work just one half double crochet into each stitch so just one half double crochet into each stitch around for round 6 the same for round 7 the same for round 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 I'd recommend doing is moving your stitch marker now so that if you lose track of how many rounds you've done you will be able to tell by your stitch marker. So okay into the next stitch here I want to work just one half double crochet and one into the next one and so on. Just one half double crochet into each stitch for rounds 6 to 13. Okay, so I've just completed that, so that was round 6 to 13. So now for rounds 14 and the final round of this hat, you want to do one single crochet into each stitch around, so one single crochet. So, into the next stitch here, I'm going to go into the stitch and do a single crochet. So you insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops and again into the next stitch the same and into the next stitch so that's insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop and pull through both loops and you want to do this all the way around ok so I'm just going to show you the last part of this hat which is how to make the little bear ears I've already done one and secured it onto the hat the thing you want to do is do a magic circle or a magic ring just like we did at the very beginning of the hat. So take your yarn and wrap it over your finger twice and I would recommend leaving a long straggler for this one just because it makes it a lot easier when going to sew the ear onto the hat. So anyway, so you should have a cross on your finger. Take your crochet hook underneath the first loop and pick up the second loop like so and there is your magic ring. So for round one you want to do eight half double crochets into the magic ring. So yarn over, go into the loop, pull up a loop and pull through all three loops. That's one and you want to do eight. Okay so once you've done that you want to pull your straggler end, pulling your ring closed and finish with a slip stitch to join, like so. And again something that I would recommend you set up is a stitch marker, so just take a random piece of yarn and use it as a stitch marker. If so for round two you want to do two half double crochets into each stitch around so two 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 so yarn over go into the first stitch so yarn over go into the first stitch pull up a loop there it goes one half double crochet and a second into the same stitch and do two half double crochets into each stitch around so once you've completed round two, you want to move on to round three, and this is the last round. So you want to do one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches, and then two half double crochets into the next. So one, 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 two. And you want to repeat this all around. And now once you've done that, this is what you should have, which is your ear. And you can see this one matches that one perfectly. And you want to finish off by sewing your ear onto your hat, like so, and then you are done. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.